Today's video, we're gonna be knocking out one of my favorites, an El Reno, Oklahoma onion burger. Hey, if this is your first time here on this channel, we cover everything barbecue and grilling. So smash that subscribe button and click that bell so you don't miss a thing. So on today's video, you heard it right. We're gonna be knocking out the El Reno onion burger. I got that Craycourt uh, ballistic griddle and man, I heard it's amazing for burgers. So I wanna really try that out. And I thought, why not try an onion burger on it? Um, a little backstory, I am from El Reno. Uh, where the onion burger was invented and I actually I worked at the original onion burger place Robert's Grill yeah. for 10 years, maybe oh. so I know a thing or two about onion burgers. I'll tell you guys this. I've seen a lot of versions of it um, on here and The only one that I've ever seen come close is my boy Greg over from uh, Ballistic Barbecue. The only one I've ever seen come close. A lot of the other ones, man, they're so far off, it's not even funny. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a collaboration with Greg, so he's gonna be knocking out the Coney. So, more on that later. But anywho, we're gonna go out here, get this thing lit up, and, uh, and man, I just hope that I know what I'm doing on this Ballistic Griddle. I've talked to Greg a lot. He's told me how to light the fire. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm using lump charcoal. Greg, uh, Greg recommended uh, briquettes, but uh, I had a bunch of lump in there and I thought, I mean, it's all the same, right? We just need heat. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's get it fired up. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good job, buddy. Good fetching. <laughs> and he's so fast. All right. All right, so what we have here is ground chuck 80-20. The ingredients I'm gonna give you here is what an original onion burger is made with. What you guys wanna do, I don't care. Um, they're not seasoned with salt or pepper. A lot of people do it after the fact, but you guys, you do you. You season them however you wanna season them. But it's 80-20 ground chuck. How we done it back then is we would order this hundreds of pounds at a time. We made four ounce patties and we made I mean, you can grab them, and this is exactly how we made them. After, I mean, seconds, you can <laughs> make them with both hands. That's it. That's all you do. But we would roll hundreds of these a day. I mean, we would go through a thousand of them. Uh, we'd put them in big tubs, have it all mounded up. It's crazy. And the guys still do it today, still in El Reno. The onions are shaved super thin. There's, I, I have never seen a mandolin that can get onions this thin. Um, you'll have to rig them up because you want it super thin. These are maybe right at a sixteenth of an inch. Most mandolins, I think they go down to an eighth of an inch. But anywho, you know, just get them close. And the cheese, American cheese. The good old melty, melty goodness. And I just got a little pack of this from Walmart. And we'll double cheese ours here. The buns, they're four and a half inch buns. There's really nothing to it. And just so you know, I'm just gonna tell you right now, even these aren't gonna taste like an actual El Reno onion burger. It's just extremely difficult to do it. And the reason why is because there's tens of thousands of burgers ran across their grill with onions in them and it just flavors that burger. And anybody that's ever made them at home, but the closest thing you'll probably, if you cook them all the time, you might get close, but you're gonna have to cook a shit load of them. I mean, it's crazy. I, we opened up a place in another town in Oklahoma and uh, we went to season the grill and we literally probably went through 20 gallons of onions, cut onions. And at one point we just dumped all the onions on the grill and we just cooked all the onions. To get that flavor, you gotta go to El Reno. Um, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of them are popping up in El Reno. Robert's Grill is the first place, opened in 1920. It's still the exact same building. I think it only has like 12 or 15 bar stools on it. It's exactly the same way. Um, you walk in there and you just feel like you're just transported back in time. We used to walk on wooden slats that we cleaned. So uh, I could go on and on about Roberts, but hey, we're here to cook burgers. So one thing I do want to talk about, I got this uh, off of Craig Quartz website. I actually have an onion burger trowel being made. Um, 
the trowels we used are masonry trowels and we just cut them off but um, to get that bevel right I took it to my buddy he's down the street he's making one for me but I really wanted to try this out I seen Greg over at ballistic barbecue using this and I, I'm going to try it out uh, he uses a uh, wax paper in his I may or may not try it I don't know I'll have to see how the first one goes so anyways uh, hey let's get all this outside and let's get to making some onion burgers all right so this is my first attempt at the onion burger on the ballistic griddle so let's just let's just jump right in there that's just, that's that sear you want to hear about as many onions not bad onion burgers a little flatter there we go smells good I didn't want to do more than one at a time uh, just because I honestly we don't know what we're doing yet yeah. but hey man you can uh, you can learn right here with us I'm not afraid I think we can do two on the next one this isn't near as hot as what I thought it was gonna be Bailey hi buddy Bobo hi dude That's good. Actually, it looks really good. So what you want to do now, take the bottom bun, and then you kick that top bun off to the side. It's going to steam it. Here in a couple seconds, we'll put the cheese on there. Boom. You guys hold on. Bear with me one minute. We're going to do an Instagram live. Or an Instagram story. We'll do an Instagram story. That's like live to me. Hey, everybody. It's a beautiful day out here. Boy, the sun's out. We got some onion burgers. All right, let's get some cheese on it. Melt it off. I'm thinking this might be a good deal. I think this thing takes a little bit longer in cook than what I'm used to. Uh, the grills that we're running are actually hotter than this. Um, I got a hot zone back here, as you can see, but we can move it over, I bet. We'll get another one going. Bingo, we got this. That's it right there. All right, man, I'm gonna knock out three more of these and I'll see you guys inside. Alrighty guys, so all in all, uh, the Ballistic Griddle, two thumbs up. I highly recommend that. Um, the Burger Smasher, not so much for onion burgers. Um, for burgers without onions, probably, yeah, yeah, I could see it. Um, you get, uh, you know, consistent sized burgers. I don't know that it's for me. I've cooked burgers this way for so long that, I mean, literally tens of thousands of them. So I don't know, I, I just don't know where I stand there. As far as videos that show how an El Reno onion burger is made, outside of the Weber <laughs> and, and, the, and the, uh, the ballistic griddle, this is exactly how they're made. They, they, man, they smell exactly like them. Uh, usually I don't do this, but I want you guys to know, I'm going to dress one up real quick. Mustard and onions, that's how I like it. And I'm going to dig into this for you and let you know. Alright guys, man I'm so glad you got to be here to watch that. This is an El Reno onion burger. You saw the real deal here, bar none. Thank you for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Click that bell so you don't miss a thing. And I'll see you guys next time.